Today we are looking at one point perspective and first I thought I'd teach you some rules to do with one point perspective drawing and those rules are best explained on this screen here. First thing is the horizon line. Um, the horizon line is a point where um, things usually disappear into the distance. That's what we think of when we look at like the ocean or something like that, where the ocean meets the sky. You know, that's the horizon line. But when it comes to um, drawing, um, we use the horizon line. Uh, we think about the horizon line as the point where the camera is um, is at eye level. So if you look at this character here, that represents um, the horizon line being the eye level at which the camera was when it took a photo of something or where a drawing was, um, where the person drawing something was positioned. So the horizon line is the person's eye level and the vanishing point is where that person was looking at the time. So it's where the camera was pointed towards. Um, so those two things are very, very important. Once you have those two things established, you then notice that if things are above um, the horizon line, they um, point downwards towards the vanishing point. So if I have this box here, um, that box is angled downwards towards the vanishing point and equally if I have it below the horizon line um, things are pointing upwards so the box down here um, is pointing upwards towards the vanishing point so I hope that makes sense we are now going to look at um, applying that to a photograph um, that I have um, and see if we can see those rules and use them to make a drawing So what we're going to do is we're going to use the ruler in this drawing. We're going to trace um, over some of the angular forms we see, like the fence and the road and the buildings. And we're going to use the ruler just to rule up some of those lines. With the ruler, if you open it up by pressing that button in the bottom right hand corner, you need one finger to push around the ruler and it will keep the same angle and if you want to tilt the ruler use two fingers and it will um, turn the ruler around for you. Um, so once I have um, traced some of the key forms you'll see in this short video um, a rendering techniques for a drawing such as this. Um, and I encourage you to yeah take your phones outside and try and find an example of a one-point perspective uh, scene and have a go at this yourself. Um, you can use things like footpaths, um, train tracks, uh, rows of trees, or um, picket fences, um, or anything where there is a vanishing point. Um, disappearing into the distance. So grab your iPhones out, head out um, outside and um, yeah see if you can take a one point perspective photo and then come back in and see if you can find those rules that I talked about, the horizon line, the vanishing point um, and how things angle either downwards or upwards. Um, and yeah have a go at yourself and then render it in uh, fully so that um, your drawing has a bit of tone um, and line showing and uh, one last thing is you might notice I'm not very um, careful about the lines that I do or the, or the rendering it's very rough um, and I'm going for an overall look I'm not really going for 100% accuracy and I think Keeping that in mind when you're drawing is really important that a drawing is a drawing, it's not a photograph. So um, you don't have to draw with 100% accuracy for it to be a drawing. 
um, you can add a bit of expression and things in there, which I highly encourage.